according to a health ministry spokesman, Iran's total death toll from the new coronavirus outbreak exceeded 4,232. This comes as the country registered 122 deaths only in the past 24 hours. The total number of people diagnosed with the disease also increased by 1,972 in the past 24 hours to a total of 68,192. The Egyptian Armed Forces said in a statement that Egypt's naval forces received a third Type 209 to 1400 submarine from Germany. Tamir Averfai, spokesman of the Egyptian Armed Forces, said the submarine, the S 43, is part of a deal for four submarines signed between the two countries in 2011 and 2014. Egypt received the submarine after the technical and specialized crew completed simultaneous training in Egypt and Germany for record time. Lebanon's international and local creditors are at odds over a draft plan on tackling the country's crippling financial crisis. A number of international holders of Lebanon's more than 30 billion US dollars euro bonds are broadly supportive of the proposal which estimates Lebanon will need external financing of 10 billion US dollars to 15 billion over the next five years. They also say it can act as a blueprint to seek IMF financial support. This comes as the coronavirus lockdown has compounded economic problems, which include a weakening currency, capital controls that have denied savers access to dollar savings. The death of Murad Trabolsi, the son-in-law of former Tunisian President Zain al Abidin bin Ali, renewed old calls for a comprehensive reconciliation with previous regimes towards. Calls to overlook the tragedies of the past, however, soon dissipated under the rejection and pressure of those who were subjected to grave violations during the period of bin Ali's rule, which spanned 23 years. Sufyan Mazgish, spokesman for the General Administration of Prisons at the Ministry of Justice, confirmed that Trabulsi, who was in prison as of June of 2012, died of a severe heart attack. The National Emergency Committee for the COVID-19 disease in Yemen said the country has recorded its first case on Friday. It also said the patient is being treated and in stable condition without giving further details. The committee said medical teams and concerned authorities had taken all necessary precautions and promised to release further details later in the week. After graduating med school and before resuming their careers, new doctors take an oath of ethics which shapes the way they treat patients and uphold ethical standards. As of January, specifically after the novel coronavirus began to spread around the world, healthcare professionals face a life-threatening challenge while performing their duties. At that time, most of the countries were mobilized and prepared for the coming danger, as there are doctors in these countries from all over the world, including Saudi doctors. The virus crisis worsened worldwide, with some countries registering hundreds of thousands of cases. Coronavirus infections have risen to more than 10,000 in Israel, while the health ministry reported a total of 92 deaths on Friday. Up to 166 people are in serious condition, including 121 people on ventilators, while 171 people are in moderate condition and 8,522 people have minor symptoms. Meanwhile, a total of 1,011 people have recovered from the disease. IS militants killed at least 18 Syrian regime forces following a surprise attack launched on several military positions in the central Syria. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights has said pro-regime fighters backed by Russian airstrikes were battling off the militants on the outskirts of the desert town of es in Homs province. The watchdog said the attack was accompanied by an exchange of fire between both parties while Russian jets pounded front lines and other positions in the desert area. 
Moscow and Damascus dismissed on Thursday accusations by the organization for the prohibition of chemical weapons that the Syrian Air Force was behind a series of attacks using sarin and chlorine on an opposition held town in 2017. The OKCW investigative team said in an 82 page report issued Wednesday that the Syrian Air Force dropped bombs containing either chlorine or sarin on a hospital in open farmland in the central town of Latamne, injuring over 70 people and killing at least three, a surgeon and two other people. The attacks came amid intense fighting of the opposition-controlled town and parts of northern Hama, the central province where Latamne is located. It was followed by a regime attack on Khan Sheikhoun, a town further north with suspected chemical agents that killed nearly 100 people. The Saudi-led Arab coalition's declaration of a two-week ceasefire in Yemen has been welcomed by Arab and international powers. Arab League chief Ahmed Abu Keith welcomed the ceasefire, urging the Iran-backed Houthi militias to also comply. The declaration reflects the Arab coalition's sense of responsibility to confront the novel coronavirus, he said, hoping that the Houthis would meet it halfway as this is a rare chance to stop the bloodshed in Yemen. Gulf Cooperation Council Chief Dr. Naif al Hadraf also welcomed the ceasefire declaration, hoping that it would pave the way for a meeting between the legitimate government and the Houthis to discuss a permanent truce in the country, confidence building measures, and the resumption of the political process. According to Saudi Arabia's foreign ministry, the deadline for receiving requests from citizens to return to Saudi Arabia will be extended until April 14th. The decision is an extension of the directives of the King Salman and the Crop Prince to facilitate the return of Saudi citizens who wish to return from abroad. The foreign ministry statement read, The custodian of the two Ali mosques, Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, issued directives for the foreign minister to work on procedures that will allow Saudi citizens to return to the kingdom following the suspension of flights around the world amid the coronavirus outbreak. The United Arab Emirates announced its decision to extend the closure of mosques and places of worship until further notice. The report said the decision was made as part of the precautionary measures taken throughout the country to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The country is home to thousands of mosques over 40 Christian churches and a Hindu temple. The announcement comes days ahead of Easter, the holiest day in the Christian calendar. The French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle has registered 50 cases of the novel coronavirus among the crew. Three sailors had been evacuated from the vessel to hospital in the Mediterranean port of Toulon as a precaution. However, none of the crew who tested positive for COVID-19 and remained on board have suffered worsening health so far. Less than 1% of Austria's population is infected with the coronavirus based on testing a representative sample of more than 1,500 people. The first such study in continental Europe, led by Paul Stersora, which is known for projecting election results, aimed to provide a clearer picture of the total number of infections given gaps in testing. Austria reacted early to the outbreak in the country, closing schools, restaurants, theatres and other gathering places more than three weeks ago and telling the population to stay home and work from there if possible. The US Department of Agriculture confirmed the country's first case of virulent avian flu in commercial poultry since 2017. The agency found H7N3 avian influenza a pathogenic strain in a turkey flock in Chesterfield County, South Carolina, according to a statement. No human cases of the virus have been detected and there is no immediate public health concern. The worst ever U.S. outbreak of avian flu in 2014 and 2015 killed about 50 million birds, most of which were egg-laying hens in Iowa.